All right, today we're in the, uh, the historic pre-Roman settlement of Kirkham, which is uh, apparently Old Danish for church town. Let's preach. You can do it, Mrs. Beard. <laughs> Feeling confident, Mrs. Beard? This man, you're supposed to support me. Somebody else is doing the chat. I've got to go get sneak peek. How you doing, fellas? Bad. Not bad. Yeah, no, I'm not going to lie, there is quite a lot of food left here. But you know, I still believe in you. We've got what, about 15 minutes left. Mm. Yeah. Right, so today I'm at a place called Bullhorn's Smokehouse in uh, Kirkham. Yep. And uh, I'm taking on their as yet undefeated Man vs. Food Challenge, which is like a barbecue thing. We got... <laughs> <laughs> we got ribs, chicken wings, some kind of toast, mac and cheese, beans, coleslaw, lots of chips, a burger, and a milkshake, of course. I almost forgot the milkshake. You get 30 minutes to finish. That's correct. And it costs uh, 35 quid. Yeah, but if you do it, you get it free. That's uh, that's handy. You get a t-shirt or anything? T-shirt, yeah. Oh, t -shirt. Love t-shirts. So yeah, without further ado, this is Beerit's Food, and this is uh, me grabbing the bull by the horns. You get it? <laughs> bull horns. <laughs> <laughs> I've got to finish it now. I can't lose now. <laughs> Go. Go, right, what am I doing? Hold on, I should have got some napkins first. <laughs> Well, already, I'm already wasting time. Right, let's do. I'm gonna do a coleslaw first because I don't want to eat that then. What's up, everybody? Welcome back. I trust you're all doing well out there, and of course, thank you for joining me for another episode. And today, we're eating a big old pile of meat. Oh, this is spicy. I shouldn't have eaten this first. <laughs> How is the coleslaw spicy? <laughs> wow. I have never had spicy coleslaw before in my life. Oh! Ten seconds. There's a saboteur in the kitchen. <laughs> I'm sure of it. The chef told me the, the coleslaw was just full of black pepper, but I don't know. It tastes a heck of a lot spicier than black pepper. Put the bones over there. Yeah, next up, chicken wings. It's always a good idea to get these out of the way early because they can be a little fiddly. You can put it on your nose. It's on my nose. Three minutes in. Wings are the hard part. But I'll be fine. Good effort, though, mate. Good effort. Uh... So, the bloke I'm talking to just off camera here is one of the dudes I showed just before I got started eating. He attempted the food challenge with one of his buddies just before me and uh, sadly didn't manage to finish it, but he gave a good account of himself. I think he got done with just over half inside 30 minutes. Is uh his wingman? I probably shouldn't call him a wingman because he, he didn't eat many wings, <laughs> but um yeah he, he did not do so well. But this is a lot of food. It just takes forever. Right, I think this is the last chicken wing. Yeah, somebody needs to dope test these chickens. Never seen wings this big in my life. I really prefer those uh little tiny minuscule ones. You can just umbrella strip the meat off nice and easy. These were a little less practical to eat, but nonetheless delicious. I really enjoyed the wings. Word to the wise though, if you're ever going to do a food challenge which involves meat on the bone, make sure you check with your server that the wings or the ribs or whatever are clean enough because you don't have to go back at the end when you might be running low on time just to clean up all the bones and stuff. Oh yeah, this meat's falling off the bone. Ooh, slick. You see that? That went down really easy. To be fair, these, uh, these ribs were unreal. Probably my favourite part of the meal. They were nice and tender, juicy in the middle, a little crisp on the outside, fell right off the bone, and they were coated in a very delicious sauce, which in fact was so delicious, clearly I've decided to save a big old dollop on my left cheek <laughs> for later. But we're almost done with the ribs now. I think just one more big chunk left on the tray there. And then I'm gonna move on to the, uh, I think the chicken tenders, which were almost equally delicious. That's most of the messy stuff down. Yeah, you'll do. <laughs> Right, chicken strips next. I'm gonna dip these in some of the beans. Ah, uh, a dependable strategy indeed. Dunking the uh, fried chicken. <laughs> oh, it's a good fried chicken, this. 
dunking the um, the fried chicken into the bean juice just to to loop things up, send them down on their merry way, nice and easy. Yes. Yeah, so need more napkins. Yeah, no need to panic. I'm sure my lovely yet cynical assistant, Mrs. Beard, will provide <laughs> napkins as required. Anyway, now I'm on the burger, which I did deconstruct a little bit. I took out the ridiculously large chicken breast and thought I would just enjoy the, the beef, cheese, and bacon. I think you can go nuts, you know, a bit overboard and, and overstuff a burger, and it would have been pretty tough on the jaw to try and eat all that as a sandwich. Lube it up with some, uh, some bean juice now and uh, proceeding to rock out. They play a lot of country music here, so I can only assume Dixie Chicks came on or something like that. <laughs> yeah, one whole chicken breast. I don't know why I seem surprised at that. It is quite normal to eat a whole chicken breast. You don't normally eat half. <laughs> I, I have to say, this was not my favorite part of the meal. It was a little dry, which is why I'm tearing it up into more manageable pieces. Oh, man, the chips. <laughs> Always the chips. I got one. <laughs> you just threw a chip on my plate. <laughs> Come on now. It's one thing to say at the beginning of the video that you don't believe in me and that you think I'm gonna fail. It's quite another to start throwing chips onto my plate in an attempt to sabotage the attempt. Luckily, the uh, the people officiating saw it and they took it in good spirits. But uh, anyway, it dawns on me I've not really talked much about the challenge. This is a, uh, as you can no doubt plainly see, a barbecue challenge <laughs> at a place called Bullhorn Smokehouse in Kirkham, which is kind of near Preston, costs 35 quid. And if you finish it inside 30 minutes, you get the meal free and a pretty snazzy t-shirt. And you know me, I love nothing more than some sleek sartorial proof of my victory. So that's the aim. Although it's not gonna be easy, I say as I pour out the pit beans, which were, by the way, delicious. Uh, yeah, it's not gonna be easy because, I mean, 20 to 25 people apparently have attempted this and uh, not a one of them has got close to finishing. And that does not surprise me because 30 minutes is not, a, let's just say it's not a generous amount of time <laughs> to eat this amount of food. Still, we can but hope. We're getting there slow but sure. I think I'll say it from paper. Yeah, but not for the first time. Get it down you, it'll do you no harm. Probably contains some much needed roughage actually, which might even help with the aftermath. <laughs> anyway, we're, uh, we're about done with what I would call the hard work here. The hard work being the big old pile of chips. Thankfully, this comes with beans and accompanying a bean juice which uh, helped to soften them up a little bit and, and make them a little bit more palatable. So we're almost done with those now. And uh, I think I'm just about to make up some, uh, I don't even know what you'd call it. I don't know if it's just toast or garlic toast or Texas toast or something like some kind of herby, slightly cheesy toast. And uh, I'm dumping on the, uh, the mac and cheese here, which by this point was cold, but no less enjoyable because of it. I, I, I'm kind of coming around to mac and cheese the older I get. I don't know why, but um, yeah, mac and cheese sandwiches. Who knows? Might catch on. Let me know in the comments if you've ever done that before. Oh, it's still good. Yeah, always a sign of a good milkshake though. If after, what, 20 minutes almost, it still maintains its viscosity. It's always a good sign. The milkshake was good. I got um, a Reese's Pieces milkshake, which I let Mrs. Beard choose. She didn't tell me uh, until I, I tasted of it, but I definitely got the peanut butter and um, yeah, it was a, a pretty enjoyable way to, uh, I don't want to say end because I'm not quite at the finish yet. About to get rid of this uh, greasy piece of paper. Uh, I, I really hope they wash these trays because <laughs> I'm just eating it off the tray now. Look at that energy, though. This is this is an energetic performance. <laughs> <coughs> I can just see like food on my nose. Yeah, I could just see like flecks of, of white and, and and red and brown and all kinds of stuff. <laughs> Just a total sloppy mess by the, the end of this. We're almost there though. What's that about one more mouthful? There's so much goo on me, I'm like disintegrating the, the tissues. Yeah, kitchen roll would have probably been more appropriate. I should start taking some with me. I'll pack up like a, a food challenge adventure bag with some supplies in, spare underwear, kitchen roll, maybe a giant spoon or something. <laughs> anyway, hope you enjoyed the video and uh, I'll catch you in the next one. I'm trying to get all the stuff off the table. This is Big Meat Spoon, and that was. Uh, the, Taking the bull by the horns. I took the bull by the horns. Ah, <laughs> uh, is that right? Hey. 
Oh. 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 And get a t-shirt as well. Of course. For this classy. I, I like black t-shirts because they go with everything. Slow down. I can't, I can't walk that fast. Oh, it's a hot. <laughs> I'm covered in barbecue sauce. <laughs>